right? So Luke chapter one, verse 41. <clears throat> and it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, wait a minute. This is before the birth of John the Baptist, which is before the birth of Jesus, which is before the day of Pentecost, right? Okay. And yet she was filled with the Holy Ghost, but she hadn't even received him the way we think of being filled. Okay. So, and she spoke out with a loud voice. Notice Elizabeth, I'm going to emphasize these every time. Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost and she spoke out with a loud voice. Here's what I want you to notice. Every time it talks about somebody filled, they spoke or acted every time. There was never a time mentioned of anybody being filled with the Spirit that they did not speak or act. So for a person to say they are filled with the Spirit, they must be speaking or acting in accordance with the Spirit. Okay? And she said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, and whence is this to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in mine ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. So Elizabeth filled and spoke, right? Now, the word filled here, where it says she was filled with the Holy Spirit. It's number 4130 in Strong's Concordance. It's the Greek word plato. It means literally, uh, I'm trying to get it here. Yeah, to fill. Now, get this. It means to influence. Influence. Okay, specifically to accomplish or to fulfill or now, but notice to influence Luke chapter one, verse 67. Now, and his father, Zacharias, this is John the Baptist's father, and his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, notice, filled, prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Notice, same word, 4130, Plato. It means to be induced or influenced to the point of action. To be filled with the Holy Spirit means to be induced or influenced to the point of action. So technically, you cannot say you're filled if you are not moved to the point of action, okay? Now, so notice, I'm not talking about a doctrine, right? I'm not talking about a doctrine of being baptized in the Holy Ghost, filled with the Holy Ghost, these kind of things. But you will notice a pattern here. Now, it means, yeah, in Luke chapter four, verse 28, and all they in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath. Now, when is this? This is when Jesus preached, okay? The people were filled with wrath and rose up and thrust him out of the city and led him unto the brow of the hill whereon their city was built that they might cast him down headlong. Now, guess what word filled is there? Plato, number 4130. Same word. The same word for being filled with wrath is the same word that's used to be filled with the Holy Spirit. What does that mean? That means they were so filled with wrath that they were influenced by wrath to the point of action. Do you see that in this story? They were filled with wrath. They rose up. Now notice too, it says, um, yeah, <clears throat> they, when they heard these things, they were filled with wrath. They rose up, thrust him out of the city, and they were going to cast him down, right? So here they were filled. They were influenced to the point of action, and they did it. They, they acted on their wrath. So when it talks about being filled by the Holy Spirit, it's not talking about volume. It's not talking about how you, you know, mystically, you know, dance or anything else. It's talking about how he moves you to a point of action. And almost every time it has something to do with something you say. Now watch. In uh, Luke chapter 5. Verse 24, but that you may know that the Son of Man hath power, authority, on earth to forgive sins. He said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, arise, take up your couch, and go into your house. And immediately he rose up before them and took up that whereon he lay and departed to his own house, glorifying God. And they were all amazed, and they glorified God and were filled with fear. 
saying. Notice, filled and saying. We have seen strange things today. Now, notice that fear, when it says they were filled with fear, it means that they were so awestruck and they recognized God was there. And they recognized that and there was a a reverence, but that reverence, listen, if you're not right with God, that reverence ain't just reverence, it's fear, right? And so now notice, it says, now that word they were filled with fear, number 4130, Plato, same word, induced, influenced to the point of action. They were filled to the point where they spoke. They said something, okay? Luke chapter six, verse nine. Then said Jesus unto them, I will ask you one thing. Is it lawful on the Sabbath days to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy it? And looking round about upon them all, he said unto the man, stretch forth thy hand. And he did so. And his hand was restored whole as the other. And they were filled with madness. Imagine that. People getting mad because a man's arm gets healed. And communed, that means they talked among themselves, with one another that what they might do to Jesus. A man gets healed and they want to do something to him. They want to destroy Jesus. Again, what word is it? 4130, Plato. To be induced or influenced to the point of action. Acts chapter 3, verse 10. And they knew that it was he. Now, this is the story at the... At the gate of the temple. And they knew that it was he which sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. And as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon's greatly wondering. Notice they were filled. Plato, same word. They were filled with wonder and awe. Okay. Okay to the point that they ran, they were moved to action. They ran to see something of what happened. They tried to find out what was going on. Acts chapter four, verse eight. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, you rulers of the people and elders of Israel. Now notice, Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost. Guess what word? 4130, Plato. Okay, you're gonna remember this word, right? I keep repeating it. Plato. It simply means a person who is filled. And the Bible says filled, but the definition is influenced to the point of action. Think about this when you think about being filled with the Spirit. What does Ephesians tell us? Be, being filled. Don't be filled, don't be drunk with wine, but instead be being filled with what? The Spirit, what? Which is what? Right, it's good, isn't it right? And he says, be being filled. What does that mean? Be always being influenced to a point of action. He never says be filled and satisfied. Be filled and be lethargic. That's never a part of it. He says be being filled with the Spirit. And when you are filled with the Spirit and you're constantly being filled with the Spirit, you will be constantly moved, influenced to action by whatever the Spirit is filling you with. Whether it's joy, whether it's peace, whether it is compassion, 